Hi, everybody. I'm Dan Wells. I write horror, fantasy, and science fiction, and I talk about games on the internet. Today, I'm talking about the Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay starter set, specifically, uh, which I think is the best RPG starter set I've ever seen, and we're going to talk about why that is. Uh, so it's this nice, big, thick box set, and when you open it up, uh, the inside cover is a GM screen that has a lot of little stats on it. That's kind of fun. Uh, but more important than that, the first thing you're going to find when you open this up is this guy. Okay? And it says, read this first. And when you open it up, let's actually jump right in here. That's what it looks like. It's a trifold. See how this works? So you open it up, boing, and it turns into this. Let's see the inside. There it is. So it's kind of got an overview of what's in the box, which you can see there's a lot of neat things. And it's kind of um, really, in some ways, designed for absolute newbies. Like it has a how do I play and what is a GM section, which is kind of funny. But you'll notice uh, it also has dice and it also has tokens. It's got a bunch of handouts. It's really neat stuff. So after that, you will see that there isn't really a rule book. What they have instead are three reference sheets with very basic information. And this, combined with the adventure book, are all the rules information that you need to play. It doesn't have the entire core game, obviously, because the core game is like a big, thick, fat book. Uh, but it has everything that you need to learn how to play and whet your appetite and say, oh, hey, I want to do more. And it is, and it's all on these really convenient little starter sheets. Uh, there's one that's just a world reference of uh, information. Let's give you a better look at this. Boom! So, very brief overview of what uh, the city of Ubersreich and the Empire are like, but there's a ton more coming. And then just conditions, how to do basic tests, how injuries work. It's all here on three reference sheets, which are super easy to look at and pass around and everything. Okay? Then, I told you there was more about Ubersreich, right? So the setting of this is the city of Ubersreich, which is a uh, town in the Empire. And this is a large book. Let's uh, show you the table of contents. This is 64 pages. Pretty thick, uh, nice paperback book here. And it is absolutely filled with really good setting information. This is not just a quick adventure to teach you the rules, though it does have that. It also has a phenomenal setting guide. Uh, this is, let's scroll through here so you can see what it's got. Some kind of good pictures and basic stuff. It goes through the whole history, uh, you know, touching on the history of the Empire, but focusing on this one city of Ubersreich. And the timeline of how everything went, what it's like today, how do you get there, and then the visitor's guide, which is filled with stuff. Let me find this to show you like it talks about not just the city each neighborhood each street each thing in the street let's say that you want to go to saint arnold's chapel well we not only have a description of that we have a map of what it looks like we have character portraits and statistics for the people who work there we have everything and so uh this, they've really done a solid, good job of turning this little empire town into a big, important role-playing sandbox, which is great. And this starter set has an adventure that takes place in Ubersreich, but then it's a fantastic base for a campaign as well. It's a border city. It's a trading city. There's a lot of stuff coming in and out of it all the time. And the company keeps publishing more adventures that all take place in Ubersreich. I've got right now on my computer PDFs for seven, which I think is all of them, but they continually produce more. And they are all, all seven of those adventures are just set in Ubersreich. And so as you get to know the city and as you get to know 
the people. You can stick with these starter set characters, or you can build your own and just go through it and learn all kinds of fantastic new stuff. Okay? It's a really good book. I love it. Anyway, let's talk about the characters. This is a starter set, so you have character sheets. Let's find the same one that's on the screen right now. Solundra von Drakenberg. These are also trifolds, and this is important, okay? Um, here underneath my portrait, where you can't see, there's a little picture of Solundra. But then everyone on the front, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to the view of me. Okay, on the front here, there's a quick thing that says, who is Solundra? What is she like? and why play her, and then there's three little bullet points, okay? And you can see those right down there. And so when you hand these out, they are hidden, and, and nobody has any idea what the actual stats are. You're picking purely based on role-playing reasons. I like the art, I like the picture, I think being a soldier sounds cool, like that's how it goes. And uh, let's give you a sense of what everybody else is like here. There's six starting characters. There's Solundra. There is Gunnar Frolfsen, the Dwarf Slayer. It means he's a slayer who is also a dwarf, not that he slays dwarves. Uh, a halfling thief, who again is a thief who's a halfling, not someone who steals halflings from other people. A human wizard, an elf merchant, and last of all, obviously, a witch hunter, Elsa Sigloben. Now, clearly you can use your own characters, and that's totally fine. And this, there's, there's nothing intrinsic about these characters that demand that the starter adventure be played with them. But starter sets are designed to get you into the game fast. You can open this up, you look at your little trifold, and you say, okay, you know what? Solundra von Dragenberg is the person for me. And then you open it up, and there's a lot of neat things. So you've got here on one side a uh, kind of brief explanation of what the character sheet is, which is, again, really handy reference information. What are fate points? What are fortune points? How does resolve work? And wounds and things like that. Really nice. In the center panel, you've got all the stats and the skills and the talents and the trappings and the gear. And then over on the other side you have character background, and this is where it gets cool, okay? And I know you can see this on the big screen, so we'll just look at that here on the PDF. Uh, there is standard details, then there is motivation, and each character has three motivations, and you get to pick which one you want. And then there are group ties, and each character has five, of which you can pick one, some of them, all of them, to tie you to the other characters so that you have connections built in. And then there are secrets, which again, you can pick one, some, or all of the secrets. And each secret is kind of a disadvantage in a way, but they are also, they give you gold for picking them. So like if you really want to get some extra starting money, you can have a thing that says, you fought chaos but not escape untainted, gain plus three corruption. And so if you want to start Solundra von Drakenberg off with three extra corruption points, which are explained right over here on the other side. You can, and you can get some extra money. Um, this is such a great thing, because when you are starting, when you have a starter set with pregens, you know, they're characters that appealed to whoever put together the starter set, but they don't necessarily appeal to you. This very quick, easy personalization makes the character yours. And so your version of Solundra von Drakenberg is different than any other version that anyone else is playing. Um, and it's not necessarily designed to make it replayable, although I have played the starter set twice and it is, but it is designed to make it feel like yours. You can say, you know what, this is my motivation. These are my ties to the other characters. And these are my secrets that I'm trying to hide from people. Um, really slick, easy thing. Character creation takes like three minutes and then you're ready to go. Um, one other thing that it has is it has handouts. So uh, these start in a page that are all put together. I cut them out. Uh, these are rumors. 
And the rumors, you uh, hand them out, you give each character a rumor, and it's got three or four things on there that that character has heard about Ubersreich, which may or may not be true. They're not information, they're rumors. And so as your characters get in, there's just one more level of kind of variability and personalization to that, because you don't know, you know which rumors you're going to get, and you don't know if they're true. But then when you get into the city and you see the cavalcade of wonders, maybe one character has heard that that's a really great place and you're excited to see it. Maybe another character has heard that it is a bad place and that you need to avoid it. It's filled of things like that, which some of them are seeds for the adventure that will help you go, oh, I've heard of this guy. And some of them are absolute nonsense. And some of them are just intriguing ideas that you can follow up and, and go make things up if you want. So the uh, character system here and the variability is great. Uh, this last handout that I'm looking at right now is the shopping handout. Because the very first thing that you do, spoiler warning, is you go shopping. You wake up and, uh, I guess you don't wake up, you arrive in Ubersreich early in the morning and you can spend all of that cash that you got from attaching secrets to your character and you can go buy stuff. You can buy um, any gear you want. Uh, when I played this with my children, my 18-year-old daughter said, oh, you can get a tattoo, and then spent the next half hour ignoring the story and designing the tattoo that she wanted. But you know what? That's what role-playing is for. So nice little shopping handout. It also has handouts for uh, uh, maps. And these there's a uh, player map, which I think is this one. And then there is a game master map, which is filled with... Um, let's give you a close-up view of this. Boing! Okay, so the Game Master map has all of the little numbers on it marking what things are. And then a key over here on the side. Bing, bing, bing! And uh, the player version of the map does not have any of that. It has some labels, but it doesn't have each individual thing, like building, listed out. So there's one for the Game Master to look at and one f and know everything. And then one for the players to look at and just wonder about all the cool stuff. So that's neat. And uh, last of all, there is, of course, the adventure book itself. Let's take a look at that. So the adventure book is honestly kind of loose in its storyline. And it's like that on purpose because it is really what you're doing here is you're learn you're discovering the city of Ubersreich. Um it starts with, well, let's just show you how it starts, okay? It's uh, it's not a perfect bound book. It's a, it's a staple in the middle, um, but it's really nice. It's got cool art in it, and it's got this adventure. Let's show you the PDF, okay? Um, oh, don't look at that. It probably spoils something. Uh, the and, and as you go, and this is key, because I showed you the three reference sheets earlier, then... You start off here, and, you know, adventure summary, uh, we probably shouldn't read that. And uh, then, so first thing you do is go shopping. And then down here, it's like, oh, well, while you're shopping, you might want to make some skill tests. Because you're going to talk to people. You're going to try to negotiate a cheaper price. You're going to, you know, do whatever it takes. Maybe you want to hide or try to steal something. You're going to be a shoplifter. Whatever skills you want to do, here they are. And so when you need the rule the rule is introduced to you. Next page, uh, there's more rules. There's opposed tests, which is how you would do something like shoplifting. And then there's a little description here of a specific store that you can find, and then a little portrait and some stats. And then we jump right into a riot. Spoiler warning, on literally page two of this adventure, after you've had a chance to go shopping, a fight starts. That cavalcade of wonders that I mentioned earlier. Somebody over there starts a fight. And so, then we get the combat rules. And it's just a very simple thing. There's a brawl in the street. You can try to just get away from it, or you can join it and start punching people. Either way, we're gonna learn how combat works. And so then it goes through like this. You learn new things. You uh, play through the adventure. And the art is good. The story is good. Everything about this is really cool. Uh, the adventure overall is that 
because of this fight, you get pressed into the city watch. Ubersreich needs some extra help. And then you start to explore the city. You start to find all kinds of mysteries and problems. You'll deal with a shoplifter. You'll deal with a murder. You'll deal with all these other things. There's a big fire that was a really fun one for our group. If you want to see some of the adventure, then my other Twitch show, which is called Typecast RPG, uh, it's a D&D campaign, but in December for the holidays, we took two weeks off of the regular campaign and we played this starter set. And those videos, you can find them on the Twitch, uh, the Typecast RPG YouTube channel to get a sense of how the game plays and what the story is like. And it's a lot of fun. So hooray for that. This is, as I have said, a really great starter set. For my money, the best RPG starter set out there because of the tools it gives you, because of the incredible Ubersreich book that gives so much great setting information that will be useful throughout an entire massive campaign, and then also because of those really cool character sheets and handouts that let you personalize your character and make it your own, which is something very few starter sets really do. So great starter set very cool thing i hope that you have a chance to try it out if you're interested in warhammer fantasy roleplay which is one of my all-time favorites uh fourth edition has this fantastic starter set and uh, you can try it and i think you will love it thank you very much and i will see you on my next review